How did you and Uncle Luke initially hook up? Well, <clears throat> Mr. Mix from Two Live Crew, mm. he actually heard me and Dill at uh, like a little talent show, Big Daddy 8600. That, that was our money. Right. We still in school now, but right. we'll go out there college night, Tuesday or Wednesday, <coughs> and we won first or second place. Like $100 a week or $200 a week or something like that? It was well, either 500, 500 or the 300. We either got the 500 or the 300. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. 150. 150 every week, though. No, right. <laughs> Without robbing them. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. But, um, yeah, Mr. Mitch heard us, and uh, he like, man, y'all want to make a record? Right. And I don't even think Deb knew who he was. Cause, you know, I'm East New York nigga. It's my right. Brownsville nigga. Right. But I'm like, yeah, nigga, let's do it. We wasn't even trying to make a record. Like, in our day, we wasn't passing out demos. We wasn't right. going to see people. Right. We didn't have no industry here. It wasn't... Right. Right. If, nigga, if you wasn't down with Luke, never mind. Luke was uh, the only industry, right? So is it or, safe to say that Luke created the industry here? He, well, you, we always had Gloria Estefan, oh, right. Casey and the Sunshine Band. Oh, we shit. always for had that. For rap, yeah. Michael Sterling, nigga, we always had right. in a circle. But that rap music, Luke was like the biggest independent, the major independent. Like you had other labels, you know, Sandham had a label, Bay Station, uh, um, whoever, Candyman, all these... Every dope boy had a record label. Right. It just, mm. and then everybody get a, a local single. But Luke, and them, Luke did more marketing, promotion, more of an international scale. Mm-hmm. You know, and then with the controversy, you know, that man was nationwide, right? right. International at that. So you know, that's the way I see it. Cause I shit, I ain't know nothing. I just knew I was playing on the winning team, and right. I was going. <laughs> Kobe, that shit, nigga Jordan. So, so, cause, cause at, at that time, it really wasn't, and I don't want to label the South like in, in its entirety, oh, yeah. but it really wasn't lyrical. Like, right. like, I, to tell you the truth, like, you're like the first lyrical person that I heard coming from Miami. Is that fair? I was like, I know this been. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, but, I, I, you know, again, I'm sure there's been people. There but, was, but you didn't hear about them. Definitely hear about on, them, like, on the yeah. level, on the level, yeah. Yeah, on the level. So, but how, 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 I know you said what your idols, but what made you want to go lyrical? What, what made you not say, let me just if, stick with bass? If I'm around, if I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna tell you yeah. something. I ain't gonna right. waste your ear space, and right. I ain't gonna waste my. You right. shit scratchy right now. I ain't gonna waste these vocal cords. <laughs> I plan on singing next right. year. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Southern so y'all way around from a new album. <laughs> <laughs> I'm singing. <laughs> I'm singing next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did the rap thing, right. man. 30 years plus, nigga. I'm finna sing now. Right. right. <laughs> Just playing, go ahead. But, um, yeah, man, but the rap, but again, my dudes know, them. You know, New York dude. Mm-hmm. I was rapping because, you know, it wasn't none of us being represented. Mm-hmm. And everybody had damn near the same rhymes. You rap the, mm-hmm. the colors, you rap the sodas, right. <laughs> you rap uh-huh. the liquors. You right. know, I'm like, yeah, nigga, but... Roll out the red carpet, let the vehicles blow. Pimp deserves a great. You know, I talk that Miami shit, but uh-huh. yeah. But the first album, they called y'all Baby Two Life Crew. Yeah, Baby Two Life, yeah. Two Little Life Mothers. Second album, though, Pouring I say down. it's like Miami's NWA, like, like right. Fair to Compton. That's what it felt well, like. Well, that's when me and Dale split. And by that time, I was like, oh, y'all like that? Where they went to get? do home team, right? Yeah, they went to do home team, yeah. Right. Still my brother, still love him. We still right. love We're doing the new Poison Clan, but then... Wow. When that out... for that. Yeah. It's no yeah. for that. New Poison Clan, got that. Yeah. Long live the clan. <laughs> we, we got all the members, you know, everybody recording. You know, we got about 10 songs so far. Anyway, but when we split, by that time, I was to the point of, oh, y'all like that. Oh, where they get a load of this? That's when you start getting the actions and the eye holes and the whole stories and the say what your mama good. Like, oh shit, nigga, it's, mm-hmm. it's just doing me now. Nah. Right. Mm-hmm. It ain't even rap no more. It's, right. it's rep. It's representing now. Nah. It's representation. Right. The first album I called that Deb and Hobbs album. You got the California producers, New York nigga, and the Miami nigga. I call that their album because I just came in out the street and filled in the blanks. Right. Like. Mm. We would get on the phone, like us three, then we'll talk, say, what, what you got for this beat? We did all that. Then we go in the studio, we spent all day, all night, you know? But when I wasn't recording, I was, you know, just whatever I was doing, you know what I'm saying? Real niggas running yard. Yeah, I was doing my thing, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that's day album. But by the time we got to Port of Mentality, that's when everybody left Luke. Mm. Everybody was gone from Tula to... The home team, my boy, you know, I just stuck with him, you know. Yeah. And, and I felt like at that time, 
There's a lot of niggas waiting on him to fold, too. They ain't really like Captain Dick. Like how Wayne stuck with Cash Money. Yeah, stuck. And I, so I wrote a yeah. good example. Right. I rolled with him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, I did my thing. But, like, if you, li- if you listen to Ford and Mentality, you hear my name a lot in that bitch. I made sure a bitch knew who I was after that album. No, but even the album, as you look at it right it's now, JT. it's labeled JT. Yeah, and, and the Poison Clan. Yeah, that's some creative marketing by the people who wanted to bankrupt me from Luke and them. And they using it because they had the right to do so and that paperwork back then that they won and all that right there. But it's I cool, wasn't though. Ready. They not lying, I wasn't though. Ready. Hey, they they found that loophole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they not lying, though, but I mean, goddamn. <laughs> Holy shit, I wasn't ready. Look, How did you do that? JT Money got two separate careers, man. Uh-huh. Sometimes they don't even. Put me together. If you listen to the radio station like Pan North Spiral, you won't hear JT Money song on the Poison Clan station. You won't hear Poison Clan record on the JT Money station. If if you only one that'll probably bleed is Shake What Your Mama Gave You. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, you won't hear none of those other PC songs if you listen to JT Money Radio. That's crazy. And if you listen to Poison Clan Radio, what you more like on Pandora Apple, or Spotify? Yeah, yeah, Either like, one of them. Like Apple Music or something. Well, why? They don't put them together. It's two different lives. That's crazy. It's, a, it's not. Does that work out beneficially for you all? I ain't figured it out yet. I want them all there. <laughs> yeah, I want all the I mean, that's your career. All of it is your yeah. legacy. Yeah, well, I mean, my piece is my piece. Right. So every right. 30 days or three months, is, it'll show up. You know what's right. fucked up about us is what, what, what year you came out? 1990, the, the Two Low Light Mothers album. Okay. Club. So you, you definitely, I came 96, 97. Uh. There was no digital in no our di- content. At all. Yeah. At yeah. all. At all. So how the fuck do we even go and debate that y'all owe us digital money yeah. when we never actually signed a digital deal? Yeah. This, I shit is asinine. Listen, I've actually read lyrics, I mean not lyrics, but concert, and they say um, for any and other whatever and to come. They, yeah. they putting that in there right. now well, for the next thing y'all in invent. In perpetuity. Yeah. Shit like in case that. they start selling CDs through elephants. They say you're right. They, they own that too. The yeah, that's fucked throughout up. Throughout the yeah. universe. That should be fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they doing that too. Right. Mm-hmm. They're like, shit, man. But when Dance All Night came out before the album dropped, so that was, wasn't that 89? This is what I hate before you become the girl that I hate. This is what I hate. Oh, I got that in my notes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's 89. Mm. And then the album dropped in 90. Mm. Y'all were running that through the pack jam? Yeah, pack jam, shit, wherever. Shit, that 99 jams was bumping that. I was like, wow, we on the radio. We on the radio, huh? Oh, DJ Khaled. Yeah, this is yeah, way yeah. before. This is yeah. All right, let me, let, me, let me go to um something about pimping. Something about Featuring Too Short. Yeah. Wait, wait, how did you make this? How did you connect with Too Short? What the fuck is going on? This is... Yeah. And this record can play, be played right now. Yeah. Play Man. that shit right now. See, when, when, when Atlanta was the, uh, well, this before I went to Atlanta, I was always C short. Too short to Atlanta. Right. The, right. He was up there. Right. And I, you know, and I always wanted to do some bidding with shows. We always did a lot of shows. So when I finally got a situation mm-hmm. with a little budget, mm-hmm. I was able to say, hey, man, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, without being disrespectful, because, you know, Shit, we ain't had no features. That was my first time doing features. Mm-hmm. Don't pimp on wax. Everything else was niggas from the hood, niggas I knew. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Poison Clan, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we didn't reach out to other... I'm, damn, that's fucked up. Uh, I remember some little dudes was asking me about features, and I go to Luke and say, hey, man, nigga want to do a feature. What you think? He said, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so I ain't do it. But I'm not thinking of networking or fucking with nobody somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Spreading the game. Because I, I don't know, I guess we was in the major independent at the time. And Short was independent as well? He was job. Mm. But he was short, you know? I guess he was doing what he wanted to do. You know, we took care of the paperwork, but yeah, that was just some shit I wanted to do. Like, And you was on job at the time or you was on No, nah, I, I was doing... Um, Priority, capital, yeah, priority. capital priority. Who that was on? You know, priority. Yeah. Cuban them. Cuban them was over yeah, there. Yeah. And P, P and them was over there. That, that, Everybody, yeah, all that, 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 yeah. Yeah. a lot of people. Over there. And all them niggas, yeah. And you were independent through priority. Or? We had a situation. Me, Dallas, Austin, and Tony Mercedes. We mm-hmm. we had a situation, and Dallas had to plug over that capital. <laughs> capital told priority to work it, uh. and I just went out and did what I had to do. Ah, uh. cause uh. Yeah, I was getting more money than I was getting yesterday. Do you, do you, <laughs> yesterday price was money. Today price was money. Do you do you do you like being on a major or do you like being on an independent? Um, 
I, I like where I'm at right now. I'm kind of like under the radar, but over the bullshit. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, skating and shit, and then I throw the dick when I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Heisman on them hoes, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm free, you know what I'm saying? But the major, listen, man, I, I believe they don't play with the money when they say they're going to give you the money. <coughs> But then once you got it, I think you you major? Get, yeah, I okay. think once you got it, you got it. Right. So don't be trying to come back like, well, what about? They gonna, you know, that's when they're gonna get crazy. But if we say, nigga, I need this right now, I think they're gonna do that. The major. Yeah, I think so. Well, so that's not. how they've done me. I ask them, I say, ask them for what I want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you pick independent or major? Do I pick? Which one? I'd rather be independent. Me I went again, Nori. But. I went again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the reason being, cause you heard, heard what he said when he bought that check, though. Of course, of that course. That check, that's that that's major. What it is. Yeah. Well, it's tied to something. I'm always major. He's always in the yeah, yeah. See, yeah. See, he, we don't mind grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, no, slow I, I, grind. I, I, I want, I want pedicures, even though right. I don't got a pedicure. Right. I don't got uh, no pedicure. But I, I want haircuts and shit. Then I can pass it to the young and they can sell it. I don't know. But yeah, man. 